Okay, so welcome to another episode of Sheldon Cooper Fun with Flags. No, no, no. It's the AST practice this time. So we're looking at another block of questions, and this one is about Venetian blinds. So again, the skills being assessed are the same in terms of got to read through a bit of information. In this particular one, looking for patterns and perhaps using simple formulas and another one is eliminating wrong answers and also using the answers that are given to you to test to see if you can find out what the answer is. So in this particular one, I'd like you to read through the information and have a go at the first one and I'll give you a clue. You know, you could always draw a simpler diagram with maybe just two blinds overlapping and try to work out what the pattern is. So when you're ready, have a go. And again, we're trying to work to about a minute and a half per question. And when you're ready, go to slide number two. So in slide number two, I've just drawn two blinds and I'm trying to work out how the overlap works. So I've got a black blind and a purple blind. And when I have the two blinds together, there is one overlap. So if two blinds have one overlap, then Three blinds should have two overlaps, four blinds will have three overlaps, etc. So in this particular question, we were looking for three blinds. So three times the width minus two overlaps. Uh, the mathematics is very simple and you get an answer of 30 centimetres, which is answer B. And surprisingly, only half the students got that one right in 2005 when they did that. So again, these are the sort of questions. The first question of a set is always the easiest question, and we need to get students to get you know high, high marks in these first early questions. Okay, so we'll move on to the next question. So, oh, skip to one. Okay, so in this particular question, we've still got three blinds, but now we're looking at um, some new information. There's different widths and lengths, uh, widths and overlaps, and this particular question is just talking about where the vertical rod attachment would go. And just looking at the answers, I look at them and I see pairs. So for instance, A and C uh, both have the information about six centimetres from the side, about where the vertical rod would be. And B and C also match up in terms of their five centimetres from the side. So perhaps if we eliminate answers, then we've only got to have uh, a, a guess, if we're going to guess, we've only got a choice of two to guess that. So when looking at the distance from the side of the windows, this is the easiest thing to look at. So have a look at the question and try to work out. Again, a simple diagram will help you with this question and we'll see how you go. So when you're ready, have a go and when you're ready, come back and we'll look at the next slide. Okay, so I've skipped too far again. So from the information, the information given can be used to check your answer. Okay, so uh, for instance, in the question it said there were three blinds and using the formula that we worked out uh, with 12 and 2 this an as the answers, 32 centimetres covers the information which backs up our first answer. But looking at the question, uh, down, down here I've drawn three blinds. I've got a black blind, a purple blind and a, and a brown, it doesn't really matter. And if you have a look at the black, uh, the width is 12, 12 centimetres, so the width from the edge is going to be 6 centimetres. So it should be obvious that for the first centre rod we are 6 centimetres. So that means that B and D, which both had 5 centimetres from the left, so automatically they are the wrong answers. And if you, again, if you have a look at my diagram up on the thing, we've got the distance between the two centres, between the two centre rods. Um, we've got six centimetres and another six centimetres and in between we've got two centimetres to take out. So six plus six minus two equals 10. So A is the correct answer. And again, only about half the students got this correct. So this is again an in indication that we've got some room for improvement if we can get students up to maybe 70 or 80%. Okay, let's have a look at the next question. This one's a little bit, this one's easier. So we're looking at, uh, again, some new numbers. So the width equals 12 and the overlap equals three. And we've got 10 blinds. And we've already established that there's a pattern. So this one should be an easy question. So just do one for 10 blinds, work out how many overlaps you've got 
and you should be able to work this out. So I'll give you a minute and have a go. Okay, so we're looking at 10 blinds. If you have 10 blinds, you have nine overlaps. So again, this, this is a lot easier than the previous question. So 10 overlaps, uh, 10 blinds is 10 times 12, nine overlaps is nine times three. You end up with 93 centimeters, which is B. And again, this is an indication that, you know, the kids weren't perhaps even having a go at it when only 49% of the students got this correct. So this was an easy question. Okay, looking at the next one. Okay, so we've got new numbers again. The numbers keep changing. And in this particular case, we don't know how many blinds, but we know the overall width is 90 centimetres. So you've got the coverage, but you don't... We've got the coverage, but you don't have how many uh, blinds. So there's two choices. You can definitely set up an equation. So if you're good with your mathematics, you can set up an equation. Or use the answers that are given to you and the pattern that you've worked out and it should be straightforward. So again, you've only got a minute, minute and a half of these questions. Hopefully you'll get this one right. Have a go and when you're ready, come back. Okay, so we're back again. So if you're going to be a good mathematician, we don't know what the number is. So we say let n equal the number of blinds and the width that's covered is uh, the number of blinds times how wide each blind is and one less blind times the overlap. So that's the overlap. And this is the width of the blind. And we know that the answer is 90 centimetres, and that's on the question. So we've got uh, n times 10 is 10n, and minus n times 2 is minus 2n, minus times a minus times a plus is a plus. So you end up with 8n plus 2, then subtract 2 from both sides, and you end up with 11 blinds. And, again, 53% of students getting it right is not a good number. But the easier method might be, if you're not good with the maths, is just use your answers. So try it for 9 blinds, and 9 blinds is 8 overlaps, which is 74 centimetres, which isn't 90. So then, just keep trying until you get the right answer. And I think that's the last of this question. And we're finished. So this block is finished. Hopefully you did okay. See you for the next block.